talking about the labeled line and convergent theories of neuronal information organization, what they are, examples, differences between them, and much more. We are going to be exploring these two main topics by looking at two examples. For labeled line the gustatory system and for concentration coding the olfactory system, the gustatory system works through receptors that perceive different chemicals in food. There are many experiments that have indicated that there is a direct line of these gustatory cells directly to the gustatory cortex in the brain. In the developing brain, this pathway is developed through a continuous process that creates synapses based on their position in the brain. Now that we understand the labeled line theory and how it relates to gustation we can turn to convergence and how it relates to olfaction. Olfaction works through odorants that are perceived by olfactory receptor neurons then get processed in glomeruli and then are sent to the brain. An important distinction from gustation is the added glomeruli step. This leads to the convergence theory. Accents go in groups from the glomeruli to different parts of the brain. This process causes the brain to process not on spatial location rather concentration. This system develops in a discrete manner, meaning that it develops by the type of axon it connects to rather than the location. Yes, the pheromonal system found in many organisms works through the labeled line system. This makes sense because pheromones send instinctual information to the animal. This information can also not easily be learned or changed in perception. Now we know two examples of different way information is expressed in the brain. It is important to understand these pathways and how they develop to get a full picture of how our brain perceives information. Thanks for listening.